In this video, I'm gonna pit the two best editing assistant apps out there against each other, Gling versus Timebolt. For those of you that haven't heard of these two apps, these apps work to massively reduce the amount of time you spend editing by removing silences, filler words, and in the case of Gling, even bad takes. I absolutely love both of these apps and could easily recommend either of them to anyone, so I thought it would be fun to take a look at the pros and the cons of both of these apps so you can easily decide which one is better for you. So let's first take a look at the pros of Gling. The largest feature that draws people to Gling is the fact that it transcribes all of the audio that you drop inside of it, but on top of that, it takes that transcribed audio file and removes bad takes. Another great option with Gling is if you don't wanna pay for the subscription option, you do have a way to get it for free. All you need to do is paste a certain link and have it say made with Gling in the description of your video, and that will apply a credit to your account that you can use to create a another free video. The next feature that I love with Gling is that you can look through the entire text transcription on the left hand side and then you can select an entire sentence or just a single word and quickly delete it out of your video before you ever send it into another editing software. Another great feature with Gling is that it is extremely easy to use. They very easily walk you through the entire process of bringing in your footage, uploading it, and then exporting in XML. Another really awesome feature is that you can scan either your channel or the transcription from the video you're currently working on and it can offer you a title idea for your YouTube video or it can suggest an entirely new video concept based off of what you've already uploaded to your channel. And another really great feature with Gling is you can see a video preview in your timeline along with your audio waveform so you can easily see from your timeline if a take is a bad take without even needing to scroll over it. Also, if there's a certain part of the video you're searching for, you can search specific words and find them in the transcription on the left side. And another really powerful feature is that as you're playing through on the timeline, the word that is being spoken in the video will be highlighted in the transcription box. A really cool accessibility feature is if you're having a hard time seeing what's on the screen, you can actually zoom in to everything by pushing Command plus, or you can zoom out with Command minus. Gling has also made it exceptionally easy to jump back to previous projects because whenever you open up Gling, you are greeted with your project screen. And finally, a really small detail is that when you export an XML, your project file name is going to be named the same way that you named it inside of Gling. This is just a super subtle detail, but I find it really nice so that I don't need to rename my projects inside of Final Cut Pro. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Timebolt and see what all it has to offer you. Firstly, because Timebolt is not doing a transcription by default, it is extremely fast. You can have an hour long video cut down in just a matter of seconds. Secondly, while Timebolt doesn't have a free option like Gling does, it does have a lifetime option. So if you're not a fan of the subscription model, you can choose that lifetime option and use it forever. Plus you have unlimited uses. Another feature that really draws me to Timebolt is that it really, really leans into keyboard shortcuts. As a video editor, I'm constantly using keyboard shortcuts. And so it's really nice to see that they implemented those into Timebolt to really speed up your workflow. A much needed feature with an app like this is the ability to select multi-channel audio and Timebolt does do this. Oftentimes when you're working with new software, it can be really frustrating when you don't know what a button does. And what's really amazing about Timebolt is it has tons and tons of tutorials embedded throughout the application. So if you ever need help with something, there's oftentimes a little help button next to it that you can click on and it will give you a video tutorial showing you how to use that feature. On another note, Timebolt has a ton of really nice fine tune control options. So with stuff like silence detection and padding, you can really fine tune those controls to get Timebolt working with you exactly as you need it. Another huge feature that I love about Timebolt is the ability to do audio pre-processing. This means that if you accidentally recorded your volume way too low, it's not going to accidentally cut out all of that audio. You can have it raise the volume before it ever goes through and does any silence detection. Another cool feature is that you can choose to fast forward silences instead of cut silences. 
This is incredible for people that are making time-lapse content. Maybe they're working in the background and then they come up and talk to the camera and then go back to whatever they're doing. Plus, a really cool feature that Timebolt just got is its inbuilt screen recorder and you can even include your camera while you record your screen. And what's really amazing about the screen recorder is when it's done, it auto imports that file into Timebolt and automatically removes all of the silences. And a really great quality of life feature is the ability to preview just the silence that are being cut. This means that you can quickly play through your video and make sure that nothing is being cut that you want to keep for your main project. Also, if you need any sort of transcription services, Timebolt does have UmCheck, and this is really powerful at selecting specific words that you want to remove. Stuff like ums, ahs, or in my case, so and actually. And finally, a really great quality of life feature that Timebolt has is a light and a dark mode. Now that we've taken a look at all the pros of these apps, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cons. Firstly, taking a look at Gling, while Gling is really impressive with removing bad takes, it's not always perfect. And unfortunately, I've had many circumstances where it's taken out an entire paragraph that I wanted to originally keep. Fortunately, it is very easy to get those paragraphs back. Another big con for me with Gling is that you can only upload 10 hours per month before you start incurring some additional costs. Now for most people, this is not going to be a problem, but that means you couldn't use this with something like a podcast where you're going through hours and hours of audio each month. Also, one of the largest cons for me with Gling is the fact that it does not work with multi-channel audio at this time. That means that if I accidentally record the audio on the wrong track, I cannot even use Gling for that specific video until I first process it in something like Final Cut Pro and send it back to Gling. And another minor nitpick with Gling is that at this time, it does not have a dark mode. Plus, unlike Timebolt that heavily relies on keyboard shortcuts, I have found that there are very few keyboard shortcuts for Gling. Another issue with Gling is that at this time, you cannot adjust the cuts that are made. That means that if it accidentally cuts off a word too short, or if it accidentally leads in too much dead air, you can't extend or shorten that directly inside of Gling and you'll have to do it inside of something like Final Cut Pro. And this leads me to my final con with Gling. Frequently, I find that it leaves too much dead air at the beginning of a statement, which means I have to do a lot more manual editing inside of Final Cut Pro, which is the whole purpose of using Gling to save me from that manual editing time. I have adjusted the padding options to see if that would fix anything, but unfortunately, it didn't seem to fix that problem. And now let's move on to the cons with Timebolt. The first and largest con with Timebolt is that unlike Gling that offers you the transcription service as part of the app, you have to actually pay extra for transcription. And that means that even if you have a lifetime license or the subscription option, you'll still be paying extra to get those transcription features that you might want. The next con with Timebolt is that it does not offer that free option that Gling has. Another con that brings Gling up above Timebolt is that it does not auto remove bad takes. All of those need to be done completely manually inside of something like Final Cut Pro or inside of the powerful editing features that Timebolt offers. A minor complaint I have with Timebolt is that while it does heavily rely on keyboard shortcuts, you can't unfortunately at this time change those keyboard shortcuts. So if you find that there's a different workflow for how you like to edit, you cannot change those keyboard shortcuts to something that's a little bit more convenient for you. Also, another mild frustration I had with Timebolt is that it is very difficult to save a project. You can kind of save your edits and then re-import them into Timebolt, but overall it's just a very clunky process and it is definitely a much poorer experience than what is found with Gling's amazing project setup. And finally, the last complaint is a very minor one and that is that the screen recorder seems to be limited to 30 frames per second, so it doesn't go all the way up to 60 with something like QuickTime or another recording app. So which one is better, Gling or Timebolt? Well, in the end, it's going to completely come down to how you like to edit. If you're somebody who wants to be very hands-off, you want your bad takes automatically removed, and you like doing paper edits, then I'm going to strongly recommend you check out Gling. However, if you're like me and you like to have far more control over the edit, you wanna have everything down on the timeline, including your bad takes, your good takes, and you wanna make that decision while you're editing, then I strongly recommend that you check out Timebolt, which is going to save you an enormous amount of time in your 
editing room while still offering many of the benefits found inside of Bling. So with whichever one you decide on, there are affiliate links down below that do help out the channel if you use those links. If you implement either one of these into your editing workflow, you are going to astronomically speed up your editing process. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may want to check out this video where I give you a free plugin for Final Cut Pro to speed up your editing workflow. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.